Hi, I'm Dr. Matilski, and we're about to enter the IVF laboratory where all the magic happens. IVF laboratory is predicated on looking at human embryos, human sperm, and human eggs. How do you see that? An egg, it's the largest cell in the human body, 120 microns in diameter. The only way to see it is with a microscope, and that's what the IVF lab has many of. It has microscopes that are used to look at sperm. It has microscopes that are used to manipulate the embryos and sperm under low power. These are less expensive microscopes. More expensive microscopes, $150,000 will buy you a microscope that allows you to micro-inject sperm into eggs, that allows you to do biopsies for genetics, that allows you to do beautiful pictures of embryos. Dr. Assembly is busy working right now on an embryo, actually transferring it from one dish to another. Another aspect of IVF laboratory is incubators. Incubators are used to recreate the environment of human uterus to the closest, possible, the closest approximation that we can make it. It's related to temperature, it's related to humidity, it's related to pH. We cover it all in order to allow the growth of embryos for up to five to six days and then either transfer those embryos or freeze them as necessary. Dr. Semi is now going to take one of the embryo dishes out of the incubator and we're going to see under the microscope how well development is happening. Tell me what you see. Looks like you have two embryos, one growing faster than the other, but for day five this is pretty good. But I can tell you that over the last nine cases that we've transferred, all nine are pregnant, which is incredible. It just goes to show that we know what we're doing and we do a great job.